Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And welcome to the rededication and the renaming of the building. I am Jordan Malone. I am your student MC, one of them. Uh, I'd like to welcome all our special guests, uh, especially the Smith family, uh, faculty and staff, and everyone here present. Hello, my name is Ashley Soy, and I am the other student MC. To start with, I would like to introduce you to Dr. Katherine Mullins. She is the Vice President for College Advancement and the Executive Director of the GRCC Foundation. Please welcome Dr. Mullins. Good afternoon and welcome. Holy smokes, we got some good weather today, didn't we? Woohoo! We thank you all for taking time out of your Friday afternoon to attend this historic celebration. We're very happy to see you here. This is an exciting day for all of us here at GRCC, but especially so for our music, faculty, staff, and students, as I know this event is really a dream come true for them. It is wonderful to see so many GRCC friends and supporters today, and I would like to take a minute to recognize a few of our special guests. First, I'd like to recognize the GRCC Board of Trustees and retired Board of Trustees that are in the audience. If you could stand and wave. Next, I'd like to recognize the GRCC Foundation Board members. If you could stand and wave. Also, if there are any other elected officials in the audience, we'd like to recognize those too. So feel free to stand and wave. I don't see any, so thank you all for your service. You do some amazing things for this college and this community, and we appreciate you very much. As we stand in front of this amazing building, I am proud to recognize our architect, Fred Gore, and his team from AECOM, as well as Zach Bosma and the team from Chrisman. Could you stand or wave if you're out there? These are the firms that took the time and care necessary to truly transform this building. And if you haven't been inside yet, you are going to be amazed at that transformation. It definitely took some cre creativity and care, so we thank them very much. We are especially honored to have members of the Albert P. Smith family with us today. Would you all please stand and, and wave? There's a big group of them. <laughs> And finally, we are blessed to have many amazing friends and supporters in this community, and the individuals and organizations I am about to recognize have made this music center a reality for not only GRCC, but also for our community. Please help me acknowledge the following donors. The Fry Foundation, the Meyer Foundation, and Richard and Helen DeVos. We thank them all very much for supporting this important project and we are blessed to have them as friends and supporters of GRCC. And now to set the stage a bit for some history around this building. The Music Center was constructed in 1922, serving as a physical education building for Strong Junior High School and GRJC. Dave Custer will tell you this is where I came to dances, so that's why he really likes this building. This building sat vacant for three years after PE courses were moved to the newly built Ford Field House just down the street in 1976. It was last renovated for the music department in 1980. So just think about that for a minute. For all intents and purposes, before today, this building was truly a gymnasium that had been retrofitted for a music program almost 37 years ago. That is why today's renaming and rededication is so meaningful. Again, we thank you all for your support and commitment to the arts at GRCC. And now I will turn the program back over to our student MCs. Now I'd like to welcome our 10th president of GRCC, Dr. Bill Pink, and I heard that he can sing. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, that is good. Uh, good afternoon. Sometimes rumors get started, and Lord knows how, Vicki Janowiak. Welcome to Grand Rapids Community College. I want to start out by saying um, to Dave Custer, I don't think she was referring to you doing that in 1922 when she said that. Um, as far as dances are concerned in here, um, I want to first of all say welcome to all of you and glad that uh, we're able to see a GC GRCC family here. And honestly, each one of you are part of our GRCC family. Those of you who are the family of Albert P. Smith, you are a part of our family as well. And to our board members, whether you be our board of trustees, our foundation board, uh, you obviously are part of our family. And obviously to our faculty and staff, administration, those of you who stand here as supporters of this great um, institution, supporters of this great event today, you are a part of our family. So it's good to see you here and we thank you for being here today. One thing that, um, as uh, was mentioned earlier about my love of music, um, many of you that know me know that I'm a fan of Motown. It's one of the things I loved about moving to Michigan several years ago is I was closer to Motown. And one of the things that I really love about Motown is that I love the, the artists that have come through that place. One of my favorite artists is Stevie Wonder. And in 1977, Stevie Wonder wrote a song that was a tribute to Duke Ellington, one of the legendary jazz musicianists of our time. And that song was called Sir Duke. And what was interesting about the song is that the first lines of that song say that music is a world within itself with a language we all understand. And if I think about whether it be instrumental, vocal, country, R&B, rock, it doesn't matter all of us who have our love of our own music, it truly is a world in itself, isn't it? When you listen to the music that you listen to, when you sing the songs, whether that be uh, in the car, in the shower, and some of us just need to stay in the shower with when we sing, but when you think about how you do that, you think about the songs that mean something to you, it is truly a world in itself. I think that's what's so neat about people that have come through these doors to experience a music program. I think that's what's neat about people like Albert P. Smith, is that people like him realized that this language is truly music and what it means in the lives of many people. I think it's also why you have people like Kevin Dobreth who realizes, and our faculty in these, uh, that teach in these doors, that realize that this idea of music goes well beyond just some academic program. It indeed goes to the heart of people goes to the heart of our country, it goes to the heart of what we do, so that indeed it is a language in itself, a world in itself. And so it is important, but it is also an honor to be able to celebrate days like this. Another cool thing about the year of 1977 is that is actually when our music program here at GRCC was accredited by the National Association of Schools of Music, or we call it NASM. And that accreditation was interesting, and we celebrate that long accreditation as one of the only community colleges in the country to have celebrated that length of time of an accreditation of a music program. But we also celebrate the fact that we are only community college in the state of Michigan to celebrate NASM accreditation. I think that's worth a hand in itself. And that recent accreditation uh, back in 2015, as we were reaccredited, goes all the way through, 2000, through 2025, which uh, that'll be the point that we go ahead and re-up again because of the quality of programs that this faculty is associated with. I love the fact that we have students who are emceeing this today because truly, friends, that's what it's all about. It's about our students. That's why people like Al Albert P. Smith was about students. That's why we honor him today through the naming of this building. Because while we are all concerned about our community as the community's college, it's all about our students. That's where it lands. That's what it means to us as GRCC. And so I'm glad to have all you here today to, so for us to celebrate this great occasion. I'm glad to be able to uh, be the president of a place like this. Because when you talk about uh, what it took to get this work done, not only do we have uh, our contractors, our architects, and the companies who helped uh, design and build this, we appreciate you guys being here today. 
but we also appreciate places like the Fountain Street Church and also St. Cecilia down the street that for a year was able to house uh, some of our uh, work, our faculty and others uh, while this work was going on. We're very appreciative of them. That is what it takes to pull off things like this. That's what it takes. It's community. And that's what we enjoy here at GRCC, and that's what we enjoy here in Grand Rapids, is the community that works together in this way. So I welcome you today, and I want to, without further ado, introduce to you our chairperson of our music department who, wants to, who will come up and say a few things about what this means to him, what it means to students. Please welcome Kevin Dobrin. just a little shorter. Thank you, Bill. Thank you all so much for coming out here today. It's truly an honor and a privilege for me to stand before you and, and talk about this building. Sometimes when I even just start to think about it, I get, I get pretty choked up. So you're going to have to bear with me today because this building means a great deal to all of us. In 1991, when I first started here as a faculty member, I had the honor and privilege of having to meet, I met Smitty. Um, and I, we're going to stop calling it Albert P. Smith, I'm sorry. Nobody called him Albert P. Smith. It was Smitty. And I'm hoping that, actually, we, we had talked about maybe naming it the Smitty, <laughs> but um, we had to be a little bit more formal. But, uh, I had a chance to meet Smitty a number of times because he was still uh, in, very present in this building uh, when I began in 1991. Even though he had retired in 1983, uh, he was truly vested in our program, having begun it in 1947. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a little anticlimactic, isn't it? Well. I think Smitty is here right now, and he was getting tired of not seeing that. So we don't have to worry about unveiling it later. <laughs> but anyway, uh, when, when I first started working here, Smitty was here. And he would walk the halls, and he would, he would talk to the students. And he, he was the living legacy of this program. And we, for many years, while, while Smitty was still alive, we would invite him to come back and speak to our students and talk about the legacy of the building and the program and how important it was to him and how the, those of us who are here now and those of us who came before us carried that legacy with us. You know, Smitty was a builder. He built this program. He was responsible for the program being moved to this building when it was in what is now um, Kendall, I believe. Is that right, Brian? Was it in the Kendall building? Yeah, so the music, music uh, classes used to be held over there uh, when that building was owned by Grand Rapids Community College. But he was responsible for building the program, bringing it to this building, making sure that the folks understood how important music and the arts were to Grand Rapids Community College. And, and I was very fortunate to, to have a chance to go to Smitty's house a number of times and, and socialize with him in May. And I realized at that time that he wasn't just a builder of programs, but he was a builder. He constructed homes and built wonderful edifice himself. Uh, and I think, Doug, you probably did, did some of that with him, right? Uh, so he came by that building legacy in a natural way because that's just what he did. He built things. And it was, it was our legacy to follow Smitty and continue that building process. And all the music faculty, everybody, for a three-year period, starting three years ago, we, we began that process. We talked to, among ourselves and, and learned how we used the building and then sat with the architects and, and discussed how we could best serve our students and the community. And it was that legacy of Smitty working within us that helped us build and forge this wonderful new, uh, this wonderful new building. Even though the exterior uh, exists as it did back in the 20s, the interior has been completely transformed. So when we walk inside, you'll see some of the old 
walls that were here when Smitty walked the building. You'll see the old brick and you'll feel his presence, but then you'll see the transformation and you'll understand how wonderful it has been for the faculty, our students and the community to be able to teach and learn in this beautiful space. Now I'd like to invite our two MCs, Jordan Malone and Ashley Soy, to come back up and talk about how this building has impacted them. Thank you. Hello, again, my name is Ashley Soy and I'm a sophomore here in the music department at GRCC. One of the things that I love about the new music building is just that it enables better education. With the lighting, it just it has a sense of um, brightness and just a good learning center and rooms and halls for us to be in. I mean, the lights, as you'll see as they go in, they represent piano keys. And just all around us in the architect, we can see things that represent the music, that represent what we love. I also love how the rooms are built for sound. They're built for us to sing, for us to play violin and piano, and just to hear that sound be up and all around us. That is truly so much better than being in small rooms where all we hear it is right here. For me, the new building just shows how important the music department is to you as our supporters and our donors and also to the college. For you to want us to have a better facility, to have um, new media for us to use and um, new rooms and new chairs and just new practice rooms, for us that is so important to know that we are important, that what we love to do, that what we are striving to do and the music that we create is important not only to you, but also to the world around us. And for us, that is so affirming in what we have chosen to dedicate our lives to. So thank you so much for your support and for your donations for this new building. Now, this is my third semester at GRCC, but I've been coming to this building since 2008 with the Grand Rapids Choir of Men and Boys. This is the Grand Square Men and Boys home. And before, with the old building, you would say, that's their home? Such a good choir practices in that type of space. But now, with the new building, you can say, that's their home. That's what they practice in. That is so amazing. Because if you look at it, it is amazing. And we thank you for all that you've done, all the support and whatnot to get us to where we are as the Men and Boys Choir and as students and faculty. It is amazing. The, the space, it, it, it enhances our ability to perform, our ability to learn. Because I play the pipe organ, and as you know, it's not an instrument that you can pick up and carry with you. It's an instrument that has to be installed, it takes time to install, and in the old building, it, they didn't have one. Now there's a practice room where I can be as loud as I want and play anytime I want and just pray, play. Because I also play at a church every weekend and so it's very helpful to just come here, play every once in a while, I'm at least once a day, twice a day, as many times as I want. You know, and it, it's just an amazing thing that I can do that now because of this, because of the new building. The old building, I couldn't do that. And so I thank you. And music inspires, music is love and music is life. And I think we just all need to hold that together and with this new building, I think we can all just remind ourselves when we walk in that this is our new home. Thank you. So we're almost finished. I do want to say one thing, however, at this point. While I am honored as president to be able to officially declare this the Smitty, uh, the Alfred P. Smith uh, Music Center, I do want to mention the fact that while I am honored to do that, there's another individual who had a whole lot to do with what we are celebrating today, and that is our former president, Dr. Steve Ender. Dr. Ender was the one as president who uh, carried the weight in terms of getting this down the road to where we are today and in having that desire to see 
this day come forward. And uh, upon my uh, becoming president May 1st, understand uh, prior to May 1st, there was a lot of work that went into, into, work, into play by Dr. Steve Ender. And I know while he's not here today, I know there's a video being made. So uh, if, uh, if we can all acknowledge the work that Dr. Ender did in putting this building forward and making this renovation a reality, I would appreciate your acknowledgement this time. So I guess Smitty already uh, did the unveiling there, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, we do officially declare at the Albert P. Smith Music Center, which is uh, here at Grand Rapids Community College. You've heard students talk about uh, what it means to them. You've heard uh, Kevin talk about that as well. What we're going to do is take a couple of opportunities to make sure we get some pictures up here with the family around the sign. Also would love for our students to get in on some uh, photo opportunities as well. The rest of you inside, not only is there a little bit cooler uh, weather in there, but also there are some snacks and some refreshments in there that you can take part in. But more important, I want you to walk throughout the facility. I want you to see how beautiful uh, this building truly is. Uh, from the practice rooms uh, to the recital hall to the beautiful spaces where students can, can just sit and uh, unload and work a little bit to the music labs as well. Please, please make it a point to come in and see this beautiful facility uh, before you leave campus today. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here today. Family, if you would, please come on up. Let's get some pictures. Thank you.